we're here with uh, David Grossman. He's the History Room Librarian here at the Mill Valley Library. He was kind enough to uh, invite us in and tell us what the History Room is all about. Well, we've been, the History Room's been here since 1977. It was formed by the Historical Society, but we are actually part of the library and part of the city. And um, we have a great collection of uh, all kinds of things about the history of Mill Valley. Um, we're kind of the archive for the city. So we have 6,000 photographs, we've got uh, 600 maps, we've got 200 oral histories. Um, we have file cabinets and file cabinets full of articles, uh, as well as all the newspapers on microfilm, for example. We have extensive biography files on all the people that we can find who've ever lived in Mill Valley. Um, extensive, uh, we also have extensive files on local authors and a lot of local author books that may not exist anywhere else, and then lots and lots of local history books as well. well. So. And so people can come down here and um, just basically start hunting for whatever they're looking right. for? Right. They can peruse, they can, people come in, some are doing very serious research, we right. get students of all ages and all levels, we get reporters coming in. Um, and. Um, you know, or it could be just casual. People just love the railroad, for example. We right. have people that are railroad buffs that just want to talk about railroads and they want to, right. you know, go through our files and see old tickets and timetables and photographs and, and so on. And can people check out materials? No, that we are. We run like a library within a library. We're our own entity, and we don't allow people to check anything out. They can make photocopies of most things, not original okay. photographs, but most things they can make photocopies of. And we're staffed by volunteers mostly. I'm paid, but I'm only here 13 hours a week, part time. And um, I have about 25 volunteers right now um, who are, some are students, interns, and uh, many are docents from the local community. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we've got people coming from San Francisco and the East Bay that are docents. They run the room, they help people find things, we train them on how to find it. And they also work on projects mm -hmm. like in the process of digitizing. Uh, most everything that we can in this room. We're digitizing the photographs, for example, whatever maps we can, all the oral histories, and uh, all that stuff is going to be on our website and people will be able to access it. And um, I should say that the History Room started with the collection that started was, it was a uh, woman who was the uh, city clerk back in the 70s, Lucretia Little was her name, and she saved everything. She would go, I heard that she would go through people's garbage cans and pull out things that she thought would be of interest. And she had this idea for what she called a heritage library. And finally, in 1977, the city actually commissioned it and made this the history room. And we took all of Lucretia's uh, collection, and that's the core of the collection. So, and tell us about your involvement with um, the schools. Well, one of the really great things in California is that um, third graders uh, are doing a, do a local history project. And we invite the teachers to come in, and we do kind of a, an overview of the history room and, and talk about the resources and talk about local history and try to get the kids interested. And then they come back and they choose topics of their choice, and um, you know, we provide the materials and they come up with uh, their reports. So we really encourage it. We, you know, because it really makes a a, a kid a, a life user once they come in and see the resources. Uh, one thing that's very unique to our uh, little library or an archive is what we call our house files. We have files on not quite all the houses in Mill Valley, but we're trying to make it comprehensive right now. And uh, that's very unique. I've not seen any other uh, libraries or archives that have that at all. And we, we collect just about anything we can find. It could be real estate brochures, it could be old photographs, it can be deeds, letters that people have sent back and forth. We have blueprints for a lot of the houses. Uh, one time we asked people to fill out an inventory that talked about the history of their house. Uh, just anything. And we try to, you know, it's very popular. People come in this to do research, sometimes just to find out about a house before they're going to buy something. Uh, but, um, you know, people are just interested in the history of their house, basically. Well, thanks okay. for your time, My David. My pleasure, absolutely. I appreciate it. Okay, okay great. Take care. Okay, right. Thank you.